Well, it's so good to see you. Thank you. It, 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 first of all, congratulations on the two wins for Chen. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So proud. <laughs> yeah. How does it make you feel? Is it bittersweet or do you just feel kind of joy in the fact that he's being recognized? Well, yeah, it, it is. You're right. Bittersweet in a way, if I think about the bitter part of it, but I'm just trying to think of the joy part of it, you know, because uh, he, he just worked so hard on all his projects and he never, ever expected to win. You know, he, he just loved doing it. You know, <laughs> I think he was a Grammy favorite. I mean, how many times did he take the Grammy stage also? Right, right. We started going, actually, it's a good question, in, in 74, I think, with the Leprechaun. Way back then, I was singing with him on that album, and that was our first, 74. Wow. Yeah. What did the Grammys mean to him? You know what it meant? To, I forgot your name again. Put Denise. Denise, Denise. That's all right. Don't use it. <laughs> yeah, I like that name, but you know, I like to know who I'm talking. Yeah, oh. Denise. You know what it really meant to him was celebration of um, the joy of creating, of art and artists. Really, he, he never thought about competition. He never thought of even different kinds of music. He 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 just wanted to celebrate creation. You know, that's what he was all about. Did he have a favorite performance of his at the Grammys? Of his own, you mean, mm. uh, that he performed? Yeah. Probably last year, uh, Latin band, Latin, that's Latin album. Yeah. That's Latin album, the antidote, the song he wrote. That was a good one. Actually, you know what? There's another one, Denise, that's, that's uh, unique. It's way back. I don't know if you ever saw this one, with the, on the big show with the Foo Fighters. Saw oh, it and loved it. Yeah. What they said was, Chick kept them on their toes because he never played it the same way twice. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. So how are you going to commemorate this win or these two wins tonight, really? Yeah. Wow, that's a good good question. Well, you know, I, I keep it, I keep him on my shoulder. He's when Chick was touring so much, I was on his shoulder. You know, it's a kind of a, a thing we had. 50 years we were together, and, and, and that's a lot of touring. <laughs> I was with him for many years, too, but after these later years when I couldn't travel so much, he was on my shoulder. I mean, I was on his shoulder. So now I'm asking him to be my, on my shoulder and to commemorate. You know, what I need to do is just work at keeping his legacy alive and his music alive for others to enjoy. That's really my, uh, you know, passion now and my um, mission, really. How do you think he would have felt about these two Grammys in this especially hard year? He would have been really, really happy that, 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 that this pet project won because I was just talking to Christian on the phone, Christian McBride, bass, incredible bass player, see, and Brian Blade. And uh, he, he, he would have been happy about that part. It's been a rough year, yeah. He did workshops through this year and, and you know, still created, trying to educate people, you know, and, um, that's what he kept wanting to do was create through it all. So that's, he would have been very thrilled and honored with it. He never took it for granted, never. Well, we definitely don't take him for granted. And thank you mm -hmm. so much for stopping the chat, Gail. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much for listening, you know, and for what you're doing to help keep the fires, keep the music fires burning bright. Thank you. <laughs>